and narrow.org. The Internet is not responsible for any content generated by users over which it has no control. Iron rations. I guess that's what passes for a cash register in these parts. Hot rump. Wow, that rump is hot. Okay. Potions of heavily processed meat tastiness plus one. Old organ barter, self-flogging weekly, winch bunny, something for the whole family. We want to buy some of your virtual goods. What have you got? My wares were designed for the fashionable half-elf, not the brutish half-monster. Gee, no one's ever called me brutish before. I, I don't know what to say. And yet! I do have one weapon of such devious simplicity that even an incompetent swordsman such as yourself could wield it. The Platinum Sword of Berserker Testiness? The Enchanted Crossbow of Massive Decapitation? The Pushpin of Eternal Punishment? Nay! The Wooden Long Sword of Intensa uh, Longness! Bosco? Is that really you? I should ask thee the same question! Go ahead! What? Ask us the same question! Okay, is that really you? Yes, why do you ask? Guys, it's me, Bosco! I just got my new Reality 2.0 goggles, and with them, I have started the Internet Revolution! For the Shire! Bosco, don't look now, but I think your Reality 2.0 goggles may have hypnotized you. Please! Half-felt rangers of my level are impervious to every form of hypnosis enchantment. Ooh, this reminds me of those internet quizzes where you look at a bunch of shifty strangers and have to decide serial killer or United States Senator. Except we're asking, hypnotized or not hypnotized? Listen guys, I'm perfectly happy in Reality 2.0. I never want to leave. Ever. Yep, hypnotized. Now where's my free laptop? Bosco, you've got to take off those goggles, man. I never want to leave. Ever. So how's Reality 2.0 treating you, Bosco? Oh, it's great. I'm never leaving this place. Did you know in Reality 2.0, shelf space is infinite? Uh, don't you have the exact same amount of shelf space that you had in the original Reality? Hmm. Well, I'll tell you one thing. My money's a lot safer here than in that other Reality. What makes your money so safe on the internet? I got it all in one of those offshore banks. You know, real foreign. All digital, safer that way. Does this bank have a name? Well, don't go posting it on the street or nothing, but it's called BancoLavadero.com. Banco Lavadero? Isn't that Spanish for baby got back? No! I don't know what it means. I just know it's safe. If we wanted to pay real-life money to your bank account, how would we do it? It's easy! All you gotta do is drive down the information superhighway to BancoLavadero.com and transfer the money. That is easy! Oh, and you'll also have to know my top-secret account password, which I would never tell anybody for any reason whatsoever. Bosco, we want to transfer a huge sum of money to your bank account. Just tell us the password. Yeah, funny thing. The deposed king of Nigeria was just in here saying the exact same thing. Yeah, but we're serious, and we have guns. Give us the password. No! In fact, I had it wiped from my memory, so they can't even torture it out of me. Then how do you remember it when you need it? Well, just between you and me, I went down the street and had the password tattooed on a certain part of my body. Somewhere no one will ever look. This may well go down as the most ill-advised question I've ever asked, but may we see your private tattoo? No! 
Besides, I didn't tattoo it on my virtual avatar. It's on my real body, dummy. All right, fine. We'll just go check out your so-called real body. I'm not showing it to you there either. Please let us see the tattoo with your account password. No! Wooden longsword of intense longness. Not to put too fine a point on it, but that can't be selling for very much on eBay. Certainly! There are greater weapons to be had, but none of such intense uh, longness. Fine, let's cut to the chase. How much are we talking here? Five gold coins! Five gold coins? Are you insane? We're never gonna find that kind of money! Wait, five gold coins? That's it? Tis a bargain! Tis! We'll take that longsword, if you please. Have you the requisite five coins? Uh, no, not quite that many. Then take us be a hike! See you later, Bosco. For the Shire! Hello, dearies. If you have anything to mail, hand it over for inspection. What are you, a male cop? Don't be a dope. She's obviously a female cop. Actually, I'm a computer program. Antibiotic. I guard the internet from nasty, crippling germs and diseases and make sure only legitimate mail gets through. Like religious chain letters and advertisements for performance-enhancing medications? From Canada? You got it, hon. I don't suppose you know anyone by the name of Myra Stump. Oh, sure, sweetie pie. I have to block a ton of a fan email every day. The resemblance between you and Myra is eerie. Really? Well, it's nice of you to say, dear. The Internet designed this reality, you know. It picked some of its favorite public figures to represent different functions. You know, to make you player types feel more comfortable. I'm not sure it worked. Could you please explain your job more thoroughly? My friend here wasn't paying attention. All hail, Max! That is how mail gets distributed throughout the entire internet. This is my trusty sidearm with which I beat senseless anyone who would have the nerve to try and put anything contaminated in the mail. And this is my backup protection, in case any scum manages to survive the beating I give them. How often does that happen? Never. I have extra proficiencies in weapon, domestic implement. So, if I was to try to put anything nefarious in the mail, you would... Be essentialist with my frying pan while my armor kept you from touching me. Gotcha. Go on, Sam, try it! Few things are more humorous than watching a good friend being splattered on virtual pavement by a virtual frying pan. I'm touched by your deep concern for my well-being, Max. What exactly is the symbolism of that insignia on your armor? You mean you're not familiar with the Armorani Masterworks line? If we pretend we know what you're talking about, will you tell us what the heck you're talking about? This is plus one armor. Which means... Which means that any weapon plus one or less will be useless as a butter knife on aged cheddar. You don't even know basic weapon armor mechanics? You boys really need to get with it. Do you ever leave this spot? Oh, heavens no. Who'd be here to guard the mailbox? We could guard it for you. You know, if you want to grab a sandwich or something. Not a chance, funny bunny man. You never take a nap or anything? I don't need to sleep, hun. I stay awake at my post all hours. I don't sleep either. I just know the moment I start to snooze, the ravenous clowns that hide in the closet will come out and eat me. Max, the closet is full of the collected detritus of our former cases. There's no room for clowns in there. They're only in the closet when you sleep, Sam. Right before they leap out and disembowel you so they can use your organs to make balloon animals. Okay, you two wackos definitely need to stay back from the mailbox. Well, I guess we'll move along now. Don't mail any wooden nickels. Look, Max. Some form of oversized currency just hanging in the air. Ten out of ten survey subjects agree. 
No known experience can match the raw exhilaration of repeatedly leaping for things floating just out of one's reach. It's science, Sam. Well, I guess this is what our office would look like if it didn't exist yet. What? You guys? I swear, wherever I go, there you are! Oh, don't tell me you've become a Buddhist! Say, what have you got there, Jim?